welcome students we were talking about the algae and in the previous two lecture video i have talked about the general features of algae and also the range of thala structure of algae and in this video i shall tell you about the vegetative reproduction of algae actually in the rep reproduction series uh, we will make three separate tutorial video and the vegetative reproduction asexual reproduction and the sexual reproduction so here i will discuss about the vegetative reproduction of algae Actually, the vegetative reproduction of algae is occurred by many processes. The first one is the fragmentation. In this case, so what is fragmentation? Parent plant divides into two or more fragments. So here you can see a parent plant and a fragment is originated in these regions and that grows into the entire plant. So this plant body is fragmented and this will form the two two fragments and each fragments develop into the individual organism so from each fragment the entire individuals will be developed example is saragasam next is fission the parent cell divide into similar two parts so you can see that this is a parent cell and a clip start in this region and this will divide it into the two parts and which are similar to the parents and each of these daughter parts will be developed into an entire plant example is microsterias next is hormogonia the fragments of some filamentous algae containing two or more cells so from the filamentous algae uh, two or more cells which is covered by the, by a sheath and this is actually called as the hormogonia okay and when the conditions are favorable each hormogonia develops into a new plant so from this hormogonia a new plant will be developed example oscillatoria and nostoc next tubers usually these bodies are rounded and filled with abundant of starch so this is a structure of tubers and usually these bodies are rounded you can see this is a round structure and this is uh, with abundance of the starch so their food materials is starch and each body may give rise to a new plant and each of each of this body will be produced or will be developed into a new plant example is kara next bulbil bulbil is the small bud like structure usually develop on the rhizoids of kara so this is the diagram of the kara and this is the rhizoid and in this rhizoid a small bud like structure is developed and each bulbil develop into a new plant so each bulbil will be developed into a new plant so bulbil is seen in kara so kara reproduce asexually by formation of bulbil next is echinaceae this is very very important and in most chlorophyceae the chlorophyceae are those algae which contains the chlorophyll actually they are the grassy green algae echinaceae develop here and a protoplast of each cell converts in a single echinate and sometimes found in the chains so here you can see that the protoplast of of, of cells uh, form an echinate and sometimes this echinate form a chain like structure and each echinate develop into a new plant uh, like udogonium and the eulothrix so udogonium and eulothrix shows their asexual reproduction by formation of echinates so this is the procedure of vegetative reproduction of algae and in the next tutorial video we will discuss about the asexual reproduction of algae so thank you and that's it